Sarah Jessica Parker, the iconic actress and fashion icon, has captivated audiences for decades with her unparalleled talent and style. Stay tuned because we will dive deep into her life, career, workout, and diet routine in today's episode. And if you're looking to get the celeb workout-inspired workout equipment mentioned in this video, I'll link it in the description below. Let me know if you have a favorite celebrity you'd like for me to feature in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. Now, let's get to the video. Sarah Jessica Parker's Life Hold on to your Manolo Blahniks because we're about to dive into the extraordinary life of Sarah Jessica Parker. This queen of the screen and fashion icon extraordinaire was born on March 25, 1965 in Nelsonville, Ohio. She's the youngest of four kids, but don't let that fool you, she's been a boss since day one. Sarah was bitten by the acting bug early and started performing in community theater at the ripe old age of eight. By 11, she was already a Broadway veteran, appearing in The Innocents and going on to star in Annie, The Sound of Music, and The Heidi Chronicles. Basically, she was already slaying the game before she even hit puberty. In the 80s, Sarah took the movie world by storm, appearing in classics like Footloose, Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, and Honeymoon in Vegas. But it was in 1998 that she really became a household name, thanks to her role as the lovable and fashion-obsessed writer, Carrie Bradshaw, on the hit HBO series Sex and the City. Carrie's style was a character, and Sarah rocked everything from tutus to Manolo's like nobody's business. You turned down Sex and the City. <laughs> You, you, um, no, I said yes. I shot the pilot and yes. then I panicked. And you decided I'm not going to do it. You told HBO that you would give them a deal where you would produce a bunch of movies and be in movies and things for them if they just let you out of Sex and the City and not go ahead with you in the, uh, after the yeah, pilot. Yeah, that's what I was going to offer. Yeah. I went to my agents and I was like, I feel like maybe I shouldn't be doing a television series. And so they said, Why? You know, because television, you felt, hey, I'm do I have a movie career. What am I doing television I, for? I just got panicked about being like locked Locked, locked in. in and um in my head it was just it was just like the same thing over and over again and like somebody had put me in a straitjacket in in theory so i went to K kevin uvane my agent of i don't even know how many years now and um i explained this and he said well let's meet with the head of the tv department who's this brilliant guy and he was like well what do you want and i was like why don't we just offer them they'll i'll work for free for them for a year like i'll do <laughs> anything idea. they want your agent must have been thrilled with you what a businesswoman <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Don't ask her again. Because yeah. I felt like I had committed to times with them, Was right? the pilot good? It was excellent. Did you watch it? I hadn't even I hadn't seen the pilot when this happened because you somebody stopped me on the street. A woman stopped me on the street. And she was like, hey, Sarah Jessica, how are you? I was like, great. She was like, I saw your show. I love it. I was like, Sh what show? And she was like, didn't you do a show? And I was like, what show? And she said, Sex and City. I was like, oh my God, yeah, I did. Oh, they'd already put it on. No, no. she had gotten a DVD or a tape of it. And I was like, oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, she was like, it's great, you should see it. And I was like, yeah, I probably should see yeah. it. So but then, I panicked. then I panicked. As the lovable, quirky, and fashion-obsessed writer Carrie Bradshaw, Sarah Jessica Parker stole our hearts and became a role model for women everywhere. Carrie was the queen of the single ladies, and Sarah brought her to life with such nuance and depth that we felt like we were right there with her as she navigated the ups and downs of dating in New York City. From her iconic curly hair to her seemingly endless collection of designer shoes, Carrie's style was as much a part of her character as her wit and charm. I will tell you a little bit about the show. Okay. Um, it's about a, a, a woman who lives in New York City. She is a, a, col a columnist. Mm -hmm. um, she actually refers to herself as a, uh, a sexual anthropologist, which basically means that she writes articles about um, relationships and sex, including her own. She writes about her own sex life. Her escapades. And sexcapades. <laughs> <laughs> well, I single. should be beaten, yeah. Um. But Sarah's not just an actress. She's also a fashion icon in her own right. She's been the face of various brands from Gap to Stephen Berry's and has even launched her own fashion lines, including the Bitten line for Stephen Berry's and the SJP line of shoes and handbags. 
Her sense of style is one of the reasons why she's been named one of People Magazine's most beautiful people multiple times. Sarah's personal life is just as fabulous as her career. She's been married to actor Matthew Broderick since 1997, and the couple has three kids together. And when she's not ruling the entertainment world, she's using her powers for good. Sarah is an advocate for education and the arts, and has been involved with various charities over the years. Um, vilify the whole experience so that they don't become, uh, we want them to leave the house. We choose to live in a city where we walk out the door. We don't have gates and bodyguards and things and car services. So you want them to walk out of the house. So how we talk to them about this particular intrusion, we describe it with not a lot of emotion, but we're honest about it. And we want them to be graceful, generous, gracious people. Um, but it's an ongoing conversation because their own reactions to it change as they get older. Younger, they say, Mama, why is that? Why are those men taking pictures? And at first I say, oh, well, your dress must be very pretty, Loretta. You must have such a pretty dress on today. And then you can't say that because maybe they don't wear dresses anymore, for instance, say. And um, then I'll say, well, there's a lot of really beautiful buildings around here. And, the light is so pretty. And then there comes a point in time where that is not, you know, they want candid information. So the conversation keeps changing, but we try to be honest about it and not make it terrible, but also we don't court it. So it's, I think it's, we just talk to them about the way we try to have conversations with them about everything that is scary, funny, awful, good, bad. So there you have it, folks. The life of Sarah Jessica Parker, told in a tone as fabulous as she is. We can't wait to see what this icon does next. As much as I'd like to continue talking about her life and career, we're here for her workout routine as well, aren't we? Let's see what the secret behind her incredible figure is, what is her mindset, and how does she keep in such good shape with her workout routine? Stay tuned as we continue with her workout mindset in today's video. Sarah Jessica Parker's Workout Mindset Let's get pumped and talk about Sarah Jessica Parker's Workout Mindset. This woman is an absolute fitness queen, and she's not afraid to sweat it out to stay healthy and strong. First of all, let's get one thing straight. Sarah doesn't work out just to fit into those gorgeous designer dresses she's always rocking. No, no, no. She works out because she knows that taking care of her body is essential for living her best life. So what's the secret to staying in shape? For starters, she's all about mixing things up and keeping things interesting. She's a fan of everything from yoga and Pilates to strength training and dance and cardio. And she's not afraid to try new things. Because let's face it, who wants to do the same old boring workout routine every day? But just because she's willing to try new things doesn't mean she's not serious about her fitness. Sarah works out several times a week, and she puts in the time and effort to see results. And she's not afraid to challenge herself. She's been known to do everything from plank challenges to bar classes that leave even the most seasoned fitness enthusiasts shaking. But it's not just about the physical benefits for Sarah. She knows that working out is essential for her mental health, too. Exercise is a great stress reliever, and it helps her stay focused and energized throughout her busy day. And let's not forget that Sarah's workout mindset is all about balance. She knows that taking care of herself means taking care of her whole self, mind, body, and soul. So while she's dedicated to her fitness routine, she also makes time for things like meditation and self-care to keep herself feeling happy and healthy. Here are some tips and tricks straight from the fitness playbook of Sarah Jessica Parker herself. Mix it up. Sarah loves trying out different workouts to keep things interesting. One day she might hit up a yoga class, and the next day she'll be sweating it out in a dance cardio session. So don't be afraid to switch things up and try something new. Get a workout buddy. Sarah knows that having a friend to exercise with can make all the difference. Whether it's a running buddy or a Pilates partner, having someone to work out with can help keep you motivated and accountable. Set goals. Sarah sets fitness goals for herself to keep herself on track. Whether it's running a 5K or mastering a new yoga pose, having something to work towards can help keep you focused and motivated. Find time for self-care. 
Sarah knows that taking care of yourself is just as important as working out. So make sure you're taking time to rest, recover, and do things that make you feel good. Don't be too hard on yourself. Sarah knows we all have days when we're just not feeling it. Instead of beating yourself up, cut yourself some slack and focus on doing your best. Make it fun. Sarah loves workouts that are fun and enjoyable. So find something you love, whether it's dancing, hiking, or playing a sport, and make it a regular part of your routine. I walk, I live in the city. I walk a lot. Right now, that's all I have time for, but I also live in a house with like four or five flights of stairs, and I have a Fitbit. What's your goal every day? 10,000 steps. Ooh, yeah. Um, but I think walking is great. Swimming, I love in the summer. I love to kayak. Um, I don't know, I gotta think more about things like bone density and like lifting weights, because swimming doesn't, I don't think, address that, correct? So there you have it. Sarah Jessica Parker's workout mindset in all its fabulous glory. She's an inspiration to us all to stay active, stay curious, and stay true to ourselves. Now, let's go work up a sweat. Before we continue with her workout routine and diet regimen, I would like to mention that if you're looking to get the celeb workout-inspired workout equipment mentioned in this video, I'll link it in the description below. Stay tuned as we continue into the next section of today's video, Sarah Jessica Parker's workout routine, to get a better sense of her training routine. Sarah Jessica Parker's workout routine. As previously stated, Sarah Jessica Parker's workout routine is made up of a diverse range of exercises that she performs in a flexible manner. Rather than adhering to a strict workout plan, she focuses on living a lifestyle that helps her burn excess fat. Moreover, she includes certain exercises in her routine to ensure their effectiveness. With this in mind, I'll tell you various exercises Sarah Jessica Parker does for her workout routine. Cardio. She goes outdoor jogging. She walks at least 10,000 steps per day. She prefers the stairs over lifting weights. She rides a bike occasionally. Strength. She is not a gym lover, but she does some weight exercises. Some of them are inverted shoulder presses and jumping squats, yoga. This is her favorite. She does yoga at least three times per week. AKT workout. AKT is a functional approach to fitness, combining dance-based cardio, strength, tone, and circuit training in an inclusive and vibrant atmosphere. She does this for a maximum of 30 minutes and then goes on with her day. Pilates. She incorporates it at least once a week. Dance. No matter if it's hip-hop or ballet, she likes to dance and she does it. You can follow her workout or adjust it to your liking. Whatever you decide, make sure you do it safely. Once you start being active daily, especially if you weren't before, you will realize that even the easiest workout routine is not that easy if you're not used to it. Now that we know about her workout routine, it's time to find out about her diet regimen. Sarah Jessica Parker's Diet First of all, Sarah knows that food is meant to be enjoyed. She's not about that boring, bland diet life. She's all about savoring delicious and nutritious foods that make her feel good inside and out. One of her favorite ways to start the day is with a healthy breakfast packed with protein and fiber. When it comes to lunch and dinner, Sarah loves to mix things up. She's a big fan of fresh salads loaded with veggies and lean protein, but she's also been known to indulge in the occasional burger or pizza. Hey, a girl's gotta live a little, right? And let's not forget about snacks. Sarah knows the importance of keeping your energy levels up throughout the day, and that means having plenty of healthy snacks on hand. She loves things like fresh fruit, nuts, and Greek yogurt with a drizzle of honey. But perhaps the best thing about Sarah's diet is that she's all about balance. She knows that life is too short to deprive yourself of the foods you love, so she's not afraid to indulge in a sweet treat every now and then. And when she does, you can bet it's going to be something delicious. We're talking decadent chocolate cake or a perfectly gooey brownie. With that said, let's find out what her diet regimen is for a typical day. Breakfast. Yogurt, berries, eggs, lunch, beef, cream cheese, carrot, fruit, snack, fruit, tortilla, dinner, kebab, mushrooms. Whether you try her workout and diet regimen or not, remember that you must find what works best for you and allow your body to relax to avoid overworking yourself. 
Before we wrap up today's video, I would like to mention that if you're looking to get the Celeb Workout-inspired workout equipment mentioned in this video, I'll link it in the description below. As always, I welcome your suggestions for who I should feature next. Thank you for watching this episode. Please make sure you like and subscribe this video and channel, since that'll help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.